TV to me is just, what do I really think? I'm going to give you my honest opinion. And then, you know, if you don't like that, tune in tomorrow. <laughs> That's the thing about opinions, man. Everybody's entitled to them. I, I was watching Joel Osteen on TV one day, and he said, people's opinion of you is none of your business, nor should you make it yours. You, you get in a lot of trouble worrying about what somebody think about you, when really, what difference do it make? Whether they wrong or right, what, what difference do it make? The majority of people who have a negative viewpoint of you really don't even know you. What I found about being successful is, it wasn't me who changed. It was people's opinion of me that changed. You know, I got more, but and I'm the same dude. But your opinion of me has changed. Now you think, I think I'm all that. When in actuality, I really am humbled by all this. I really can't believe God let me have this. I really do understand that I am here, but by the grace of God. I'm clear about that. I, I, I am so clear about that. It ain't me. It's not me. See, I know the decisions I made, and I know how it got me where I got to. I know how my life turned out when I gave it over to him. I gave my life to God. Now, I may not be the Christian you think I ought to be, but once again, your opinion of me, it doesn't matter to me. I've just learned not to allow people opinion of me to bother me or stop me publicly, man. I've been ridiculed and ate alive on that internet. You this, he think he this, I can't stand him. He this, he that, you know, I've been everything on the internet. I don't care. When you get through reading that stuff, cut your TV on. Turn it to almost any channel you want to. Seven days a week. The little dude that you keep hating on, that God I serve, he ain't hated me yet. He ain't hated me not now time. And I've discovered something. Look, man, what God got for you, nobody, no hater, no employer, no co-worker can stop nothing God has for you. God is in the blessing business, but better than that, he's in the forgiving business. See, if God wasn't a forgiving God, I'm not here today. But God had to forgive me over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I can't count the times he done forgave me. See, I just never let my failures define me. See, when you make a mistake, just get them and go again. What you tripping for? I made public mistakes, man. Let me tell you something, man. When I, oh, oh Miss Universe, I have to apologize. I took that myself. You know how many people wrote me off? You know how many letters I got from TV execs? We're proud of you for doing the right thing, but oh my God. Oh my God, a horrible mistake. I hope you're gonna be okay. You hope I'm gonna be, what, my career over cause of that? People wrote me off. You know what, I just got up. I got up, I kept coming to work. I bet. I just kept coming, I kept showing up. Cause eventually, well, what you gonna do? The time has come. You know, my father used to always tell me something. You gonna either get over it or die mad. You got two choices. You can get past it or you can die mad. Now, if you want to die mad, tear your ass on and just die mad. But God forgave me, so I got up and I kept going. Your mistakes don't define you. Life is 10% of what happened to you. It's 90% what you do about it. I just stood up like I had some dignity. And I just kept performing, kept telling jokes, kept entertaining people. To the part now where it don't even matter. That pageant is the biggest pageant they've ever had. Everybody tune in and see who the f I'm gonna say this year. <laughs> just, just keep living, y'all. Keep waking up in the morning. I'm Ephesians 3.20 all day long. I expect God to do exceedingly and abundantly over all I think I ask because I honor him. His blessings will chase me down and overtake me. I will be in the right place at the right time. People will go out of their way to be good to me because that is my declaration as a servant of the Lord. I'm his child. 
I am an imperfect soldier for Christ. That's what I am. I'm an imperfect soldier for Christ. I'm in the army of the Lord, but I, but I have a role to play. Thank y'all for coming, everybody.